are not welcome here in Nancy. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Disarde. I am a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Mev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Cardwin. What is a legate? And what could he want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I am not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malachor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be... You must share with us the formula. Too many lives are at stake. You come here to my home, and you command me to help you. Arrogance. Renoixe. Please forgive us, I beg your pardon. We have seen so many people die of this affliction. This miraculous cure that we've heard talk of, could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me. But I will not be used like some puppet. To my help! And death to the others! Watch out! Grenade! <laughs> These roots are so interwoven and taut that it's impossible to get through them. There is residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. She passed through here, there's no doubt about it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? Mm. 
If you have an idea. Native magic. Again. It's fortunate we know a shaman, able to shed some light on the subject. <sighs> if only the wise men of this island shared more readily their knowledge. We wouldn't be at our wit's end, prisoners to the whims and fancies of that girl. Are you ready to put our plan against the Mother Cardinal in motion? It is certainly interesting. But I must see to other things before putting it in motion. I'll come back to you as soon as I have more time. Of course, my child. I know how to be patient. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Carantz, do you need something? Siora, we are in a bind, literally. The Tierna Hach Kadaktus has fled through a passage. The entrance is sealed by roots. A sacred passage, I am sure. Was there an altar stone near it? Yes, there was. Then that's it. You need to make an offering and it will open. Put the right seed on the altar and the roots will spread apart. As for knowing which seed is the right one... Without the Tierna Hach to tell you, her Vuglendag might know. If not, you'll need to search her home in the hopes of finding the right seed to offer. But that would be disrespectful to her. I would prefer finding another means. I'll do my best. Thank you for your help. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Were you able to meet the Tierna Hak Kadaktas? Yes. But to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I am once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her?
Listen, I was able to meet the Tiana Hark thanks to you, but I haven't the slightest clue why she fled in the middle of our conversation. I sincerely believe that there was a misunderstanding. You know that I mean her no harm. If I were simply given a chance to explain, I'm certain that she would understand. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given, but there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hak Kadaktas makes her home. Uh, and why should I fear the ancestor? Have stories of the Nadaig been shared with you? In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes. I even encountered one. She was... Magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us, so that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. No. Unfortunately, it's lost its seeds. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing, though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. <sighs> the Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but... Alas, it won't help me open the root passage. All these crushed plants and these powders... She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. Ugh, to be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. Oh, I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. flowers. These flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tierna Hach, and they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds we need to open the root passage. We should go try them. We have what we need. Let's go back to the stone steely.
I'm there. Respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tiernaha Kadaktis has quite a good start. <laughs> There's a chasm here. I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice.
We're on the right track. There are some fresh prints here. I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be a Nadag here. We should be careful. This fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service. Guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. 
Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. <laughs> Move away! Mercy! Your Excellency, I surrender! How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me? You deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. Tiana Hach? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. <laughs> He does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. And to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite, but the crimes of the Renaixi enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frictimil. The god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago. A lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. 
If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. Greetings, Katasak. Vertir to Mat. What can I do for you? How is my cousin doing? He's filled with dread as death approaches. Forgive him his mood swings. He's such a young boy, and he had so much desire to live. Thanks to my treatment, he suffers less. But his disease is getting worse, and I don't know what to do. It would take a power far superior to Moin to break the grasp of this evil. Now that you've seen my cousin, what are your thoughts on the Malachor? It is a terrible disease. I have never seen one like it. It slowly gnaws through the people it afflicts. The eyes and legs gradually die because of the black blood. And the pain it induces is atrocious. My potions are barely enough to calm your cousin. But if you're asking if I know how to cure it, I have no idea. It's a disease coming from a world that isn't ours and which I'm not familiar with. I must go. For our sake. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh... Constantine, is it true? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe me. Now I understand what your mother went through. But you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak, it will give me something else to ponder. Allow me to present Afra, an emissary of the Bridge Alliance. She is an eminent naturalist who studies local flora in an effort to find a remedy. Your Excellency, it is a great honor. You were part of Governor Burren's lost expedition, if I've understood correctly, were you not? Yes, and our research would have borne fruit if it hadn't been so brutally interrupted. I can only imagine. Nevertheless, you are most welcome. Your great learning will certainly prove useful. I implore you, my dear cousin. Do continue. We are eager to hear your news. I wanted to inform you of our progress made in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they both pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him En Onmil Frichtemann, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth? Even a superstition. I saw it with my own eyes take shape during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. 
You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Katasak, my friend. I saw you flinch hearing that name. You were familiar with this being. All of the Donegada know him, even in their flesh. He is Tirfredi. It is with him we make our bond. But we would be surprised that he is at the origin of your sickness. He is generous and only rages when attacked and wounded. I fear that that is exactly what we did. Cousin, I know that I ask much of you, but I have no choice. You need to go and find this magical being. I won't survive for much longer. Beg him. Offer him all that he wants, but we must have this remedy. I need it. I shall do all in my power, Constantine, I promise you. But I need to find a way to communicate with him. I was already sent to fight a guardian under that pretext, and it almost killed me. There is a way. A way so sacred that even we, Donegada, cannot use it. Enon Mil Frichtiman decides. It is not I who judges your intentions. Go and find Glendon, the sage of the village council of Dorhagenadu. If he deems you worthy, he will guide you. To be able to speak with him, you must present this seal. It will prove that you are the friend of a member of the council. I had no idea that such a talisman was required. You have not yet been named Mal of your clan, Siora, daughter of Bladnet. When this has come to pass, we will give you a seal that allows you to give voice to your friends when visiting the Consul. It is a symbol of great trust. Why are you awarding me this? I do not wish to lose the soul who has put their life in my hands. And also, you have proven you are our friend back there in my village. Thank you, Katasak. I will not forget this honor you bestow upon me. And thank you, dear cousin, for everything.